youth runner here uh, at the 44th ASIC Mountain Carmel Invitational uh, with uh, a woman that just continues to so much, so much grit and courage and uh, toughness and resilience. Ali Lorenz from Francis Parker, 1836-1. For the junior to win the Division II Invitational race, uh, Ari, I know what a competitor you are. I know that you're always going to rise to the occasion. But considering it was only September 21st, was there was there like even a fraction of a chance that like you know just the, just the illness and maybe a little bit of the fatigue you know might not have even got you to the starting line today? Like was that a real possibility when you woke up? Yeah, last night I like I wrote out a plan for myself for today, and I was like. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow, so I'll base it off that, but I woke up, I did everything right, slept a long time, and I felt okay, um, and I'm really happy because I got really sick during track season, and I didn't know if I was going to come back to running, took 100 days off, and so I just wanted every opportunity I could have to race and just show up and run my hardest. I mean, I knew that it was long, I didn't know it was 100 days long, I mean, Obviously, you've always had you know had an appreciation and you know and, and, and you know cherished moments, whether it's with the team or you know uh, in individual competition. But uh, has that just been kind of amplified and enhanced even more? You know, when when you're detached from the sport for so long, like just how much days like this mean? A hundred percent. Like I was just I wanted to run so bad, and it was so much time off, and I miss it. And I think it honestly just helped me kind of gain an appreciation for the sport again. And I look forward to workouts. I look forward to the hard days, the easy days, and race days. And it's honestly, I think, you know, it's, it's God's plan, God's timing, and it was supposed to happen. You've always been a wonderful faith-based woman and athlete, you know, outside of this, you know, most recent challenge and, and, and obstacle that you had to, uh, to overcome, but just really saying like, hey, even when I'm feeling at my weakest, when I might be, you know, the confidence might be at the lowest, like just to turn it all over to, you know, to the Lord just uh, and just be like, look, like whatever, whatever his will is, whatever his plan is, like uh, that you'll just, you'll be along for the journey. Yeah, I mean, I would have, I, I was pretty sad. I was pretty dark times, I think. Um, but just trusting, trusting God, trusting in his timing and just, it kept me hopeful and it kept me excited. And it was definitely the best way to get through this and going forward, same way. Obviously, you understand, you know, that it, it, not just because we're running cross country, but it's a marathon and not a sprint, right? This is only September 21st. We want to see you healthy, thriving at your best in, you know, in, uh, in November, not only here at Balboa Park, but at Woodward Park uh, as well. But are you allowing yourself, be, uh, because you were away for so long, like just more patience and more grace, you know, just uh, to be like, hey, it may not be a PR all the time, but as long as I can get through the race, you know, feeling at least, you know, good, strong, you know, reassured, like that if you just continue to build those training blocks and build those races on top of one another, that it will it will play out like it's supposed to in November, but are you giving yourself more grace and being more patient along the way? A hundred percent. I mean, before I was trying to rush it last year, I was thinking, you know, oh, I'm sick. Just, just you know, go through it, get through it. Um, but this year, I mean, I started running in July, so I had to take it a little bit slower and um, I wanted to build my mileage quickly, so I wasn't as patient as it probably should have been. A few minor injuries, but I've been taking the days off when I need to, and it's really helping me. And, and most of all, I'm, I'm gaining confidence back every race and, and appreciation for the sport, and that's the most important thing. And so to that, Ari, I mean, you could go up the five freeway and go to a flat three-mile course and be like, hey, you know what, like that, like, that, that's comfortable. But, the, you know, one of the things I've always appreciated about you, even since you were a freshman, and it's like, the bigger the challenge, the greater the reward, right? So you're coming here to Balboa Park and tackling some of the toughest hills in, in, in America. Like, I mean, just the, uh, the, the fact that like you don't want to take a step back, right? You want to persevere. You want to keep pushing forward. Like, how important is that not only for now, but but for you know for a big November? I think Grizz. Grit is probably one of the most important things in the sport and getting through like Mount Sac, I mean that was my favorite race of all time and, and running state with the flu, um, I just, that was like the hardest running I've ever done, like I felt like I was really just gonna die, right, and so knowing that I got through that, I know I can just get through anything and I think that's that's what's gonna, you know, get me pretty far in the sport. Awesome, uh, we certainly took massive strides today, uh, glorifying uh, the audience of one uh, all the way, but you got a lot of people here in your corner and the sport is better when Ari Lorenz is healthy and happy and uh, moving forward, uh, not just at the 44th ASICS Mount Carmel Invitational, but anywhere uh, in the state of California. Ari, great to have you uh, in, in, in this place. Uh, I wish you better health uh, going forward and congratulations. Thank you so much.